On my bike commute, there is one particular stretch of road that I really don't trust the driver, well, don't trust the drivers around here in general, but specifically on this one piece of road, it's higher speed, yet the lanes are very narrow. So I'm really worried that someone's gonna come up from behind me and nail me. I have a flare R tail light, I wear bright colors and so on. But I got online and uh, I started thinking about a bar end mirror. Well, I didn't want anything that screwed into my grip or that I couldn't easily take off because I just don't like the way those look. And it's just that one particular stretch of road. So long story short, I got on eBay and I found this EEE kit, which is actually the same company that makes the tripod that I use for filming, an iPhone holder that I use, a remote, and so on. Uh, and they had this EEE kit. It's got a, it's called a solution kit. And it's got a tab here, but I noticed that I can just do this. So let's see what is in my EEE kit. And yeah, they take pride in their units, blah, blah, blah. This is two bicycle mirrors and a little carry case. They always give these little carry cases. It's a little nice case. Kind of a uh, felt case there. But let's just get one of these mirrors out. These strap on with a little rubber strap. i get it out of the baggie here without fingerprinting up the actual mirror. I looked at maybe getting Velcro, but I found this, which is, looks like I already have a fingerprint on it, but it goes on just like my GoTime computer. Just pull in this little rubber strap. And that should work well with my oblong grips. But this is the little mirror and it adjusts can flip it pretty much in any direction there as well as tilt it so let me get this mounted and we'll see what it looks like on the bike I've had this mirror mounted to my bicycle now for about a week and a half I use it every day it stays in place unless I bump it which I, I do periodically like walking through my office at work and things like that above it but it stays in place when I'm riding uh, any rattles and shocks and going over my bumpy streets don't affect it and you can see it Actually, for a mirror on a bicycle, it doesn't look too bad. I'm not a fan of the look of them, but it's the functionality and the safety that I am after. Let me see if I can get this camera down. Now, one thing about this, you see my grips are, they're oblong. Uh, they, you know, kind of poke out here on this side. Well, I want to show this around. This is the mount, and as you can see, it's got this little rubber, or excuse me, hard plastic. Now you've got rubber, a rubber band that goes around, and that's this. But on the actual mirror base, you have this hard plastic piece. Well, what happens, let me get this mirror out of the way here. What happens is this sits on your grips, and this, at least on my grips, because they're oblong, this kind of dug into my grips. So what I did was I was looking at it and I noticed that there were some little serrations here and I just kind of bent on them until I bent it out. And then as you can see, it contours very well with my grips and it doesn't really dig into them anymore. It just bites just enough to hold and works but this is the Bontrager excuse me the EEE kit uh, bicycle mirror solution $7.99 for two of these on eBay even came with a little velveteen pouch to hold them in but pretty decent especially for the money and they seem to be holding up well now I'm gonna cut to I tried to film while I was riding with these and that just didn't work out I uh, couldn't see anything it was too shaky so what I did was I pulled off to the side of the road and just kind of gave you my view through the mirror so you can see what I see of traffic coming up from behind me. And hopefully this will make for information you could use if you need a mirror, if this would work for your bicycle. Now let's cut to that video and see this mirror in action.